separate the horses from the engine. taking it off of this. <laughs>
looking up some uh, articles yesterday afternoon. And the day of the Chicago fire, they only had 54 engines. But in their inventory, they had 112 engines. So they were missing 60 some odd engines on the day of the great, of the great fire in Chicago. Sometimes they wanted to be a little early. The two cities, only two cities in the United States give their horses a, uh, a rest, and that was Detroit and Philadelphia. They were the only two uh, companies that actually put their horses on vacation for 30 days. <laughs> they were the first companies to do that. That's pretty, pretty unique. You can talk about the fact, too, that the horses... The bells would go off, and they knew when it was their bell. Oh, yeah. And they were ready. they they'd go out and walk out to, the, to be harnessed up. Right. In a lot of cases, uh, the fishers are the ones that pulled it in uh, San Francisco with their shires. Yeah. Usually it was... You want to keep those buckets out of the way for them so they can spin it right there? You're going to go down the course and come back up? Okay, now they're going to go down. All right. You're going to see uh, some of my additional pictures. The horses, as I was informed, are going down the course and they'll be coming back up. She doesn't need any additional well, pictures. They'll be, yeah, they'll be, coming, they'll be coming back up the course here. Thank you, guys. Wow. Impressive. We just don't know how lucky we are that we have the opportunity to, to see the engine. And tell us where. All right, here they come. Let's give a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three. Look out, Charlie. Picking them up and laying them down. 